As of 2023, microplastics are subject to restrictions in the EU, or at least on track to be restricted. More specifically, the European Commission amended Annex 17 under the REACH regulation to also cover synthetic polymer microparticles as they define it, or commonly known as microplastics. And this is already part of the latest consolidated version of the REACH regulation. If you scroll down to Annex 17 and you go to 0.78, you will find the conditions uh, that concern restrict restrictions of microplastics. The definition of microplastics and also the type of products or substances that uh, are subject to these restrictions. Now, as you may already know, Annex 17 covers hundreds, if not thousands, of different substance restrictions and bans for a variety of products, including phthalates including lead, cadmium, other heavy metals. And as such, the microplastics restrictions are an amendment to the existing Annex 17. There's been some confusion around that. But in short, Regulation 2023-2055, as I mentioned, is an amendment to Annex 17, and it prohibits the sale of microplastics under these two conditions. You can see there's also a concentration limit. Now, a key part of this is the timeline. And this stretches into the 2030s. In short, this is directly from Annex 17. And what you can see here is that they start to essentially, they basically put microplastics on track to be phased out. Some of these kick in in 2027 for rinse off products. 2035 lip products, 2029 leave-on products, detergents, and so on. So in short, this is something that, at least for the time being, seems to be mostly relevant for cosmetic products. And I believe that's also where microplastics are actually intentionally added. But anyway, you can find this under Annex 17. Now, why are they giving so much time well i believe that the industry they they need time to uh, to find alternatives to find alternative materials maybe to retool their factories but in reality though microplastics are not unique to cosmetics the difference is that microplastics or microbeads are intentionally added but it is not impossible that these restrictions will also cover other product types in the future. The way it's designed, the way it's written, it is quite likely that they can add more products to the timeline. So especially if you're in the cosmetics industry, it's absolutely essential to keep track of this and, and, and stay up to date with uh, future expansion of the provisions that concern microplastics. Now, how do you know if a product or material contains microplastics? Well, if you're in the cosmetics industry, you should have a bill of substances. And this means that you should know if microplastics are intentionally added to the product. If not, it would also be difficult to comply with other cosmetics requirements. But that's basically what it comes down to. It's also a matter of lab testing. You could also uh, subject a product to testing. I believe that this will now become part of the, let's say, uh, testing service offering provided by TUV, Rhineland, Eurofins, SGS, Intertech, and so on to verify the content of microplastics. But in most cases, it would be a matter of ensuring that there are no microplastics or related materials added to the bill of substances, in short, added to the formulation. Then there are also more complex questions. Uh, microplastics can also come from uh, garments, can come from plastic bags and so on. They have at least so far not included such items in the um, 
the amendment. And I believe it would also be hard to codify because then it's not really a matter of intentionally added mixtures that are made up or contain uh, microplastics, but sort of a result of uh, wear and wearing and usage of the product, if you understand. But it's not impossible that now a first step has been taken and that uh, they will go beyond this in, in the future. Okay, if you are interested in more compliance related materials, you can go to compliancegate.com to access hundreds of free guides that concern requirements in the EU, the United States, the UK, and many other countries.